just past this brick bridge here the road goes to shit basically um, it's gonna turn into a gravel road and it's all through now baby it's all the same that's why most people avoid uh, I mean, they say that they break their campus and stuff, so... Even the bridge itself is bad. It's gonna be a graded road with a lot of washboard. So let's see how the bell stands perform. So this is how the road's gonna be all the way through. I'm gonna air down the tires a bit. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So I air down the tires. A little. I didn't do it too much just in case uh, I don't want the tire to DB. Uh, I might go to the camp and uh, release it more if I need to. But anyway, let's get going. Past it, there was traffic behind me, so I couldn't stop. Over there, back. This road is crazy. It's raining quite heavily, but I'm absolutely enjoying it. National Park. 
uh, I think no ping means entrance to the wild. It's pretty beautiful. Hey, the GoPro is covered in mud, the car is covered in mud, I'm covered in mud. Let's keep going. of the road is pretty good apart from potholes it's the sides that are basically slush so that's where you get stuck if you pull over basically Check in at Tulabi. Um, what I'm gonna do is just look at our site and then we'll head down to Tulabi. This whole place is empty. I think that's our site right there. This is three and I'm in five. Okay. That's five. Let's go check it out quickly. Okay, so we have to head to Tulabi first, get our camping permit and the park pass, and then we'll head back here. Uh, I'm gonna tr probably walk around Tilabi a bit, but I'm very, very hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day except a mango in the morning. So let's quickly head to Tilabi and then we'll come back. Okay, so that's Tilabi Falls campground right here. Let's go see if we can check in. We are an hour early, check in is at four o'clock, but it's empty, so I'm hoping I should be okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, so I'm at the camp office. I'm gonna quickly get uh, checked in, get a park pass, and then we'll head back to Bird Lake probably. Okay, so I got my passport stamped and got the parking permits. I'll explain a little more about that later. So this is the entrance to Tulabi Falls. It has been washed out pretty bad. I don't think there's a way that I can show this any better, but it's just the right size for the truck. I don't know if campers can pass through here. First I'm gonna get a fire quickly started and then get something to eat because I haven't eaten all the entire day practically. Okay, so I'm gonna eat some noodles for now.
So after a good meal, I mostly hung out by the campfire watching the fog silently creep over the surface of the lake. It was pretty beautiful and peaceful. And also I worked on some other new video ideas that I had for future videos. So in the meantime, you can check out these cool clips from Tilabi Falls. There's actually a way to get on the rocks up there. Okay, so the rain's starting to get crazy. I'm gonna quickly make dinner and then get inside uh, yeah i don't want it to be raining super hard when i when i'm cooking so let's get started so i have some steak that i want to make today along with some of the mashed potatoes a lot of potatoes mashed potatoes and then i have some garlic toast that i'm hoping to fry on the pan this is my first time making a proper steak. I forgot to bring a thermometer. Guess we are guessing when the steak will be done. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this into smaller pieces so that it cooks faster.
about eight minutes. Let's see. If done. Oh, pretty good, I think. Should be good enough. I had another spoon in a bag that would have been better for matching this, but that's what I have to do. So that's the meal for today. So I have mashed potatoes, uh, some garlic toast and steak. I have fire going. It is starting to rain and it's very foggy. So I'm gonna pack up soon and get inside and sleep. It's about 7 degrees outside. It's raining on and off. I'm just gonna sit by the fire, enjoy my tea, and then go to sleep. It's one hell of a weave. Okay, so I got the heater working. I had a few small hiccups with it, but because the plug to the 12 volt plug was rusted and that caused a problem with the jackery, a loose connection kind of. But I think I figured it out. Hopefully, it keeps on working all night or I'll be in for a miserable night. So that's working off, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna let this heat up for a while. I also had a mishap with diesel. I spilled some. I don't think it'll cause an issue. Anyways, it's pretty beautiful out here. And I feel like the morning view is gonna be amazing. quickly change uh, then fall asleep it's raining ever so slightly the view I'm hoping in the morning would be pretty awesome I just wish this heater was quieter anyway see you in the morning